Oh, y'all, y'all were watching that. Well, don't stop. Get it, get it. Let's go, y'all. What is going on, good people? It is your friend, Philip Edge with Edge & Associates, where we help entrepreneurs master the art of influence so that they can communicate effectively, find right opportunities, and live the life they've always dreamed of. In short, we build awesome people. And we're on a journey to bring you 365 days of amazing content. Today is day number 91. Let's get to it. I know, you caught me. I was getting my don't stop, get it, get it on. Well, the truth of the matter is that's really what I want to tell you today. Don't stop, get it, get it. Listen, too many people judge success by the day, which honestly, it's really not realistic. And here's why. We set these really big goals. Usually it's something that combines us being proficient at many, many skills. And those skills probably take some time to master. The goal then is tied to some sort of hope relating to an external validation. When I achieve this, then everyone will respect me. All without first examining our daily lives and questioning where in our busy schedules are we actually going to put pen to paper and get our grind on. In short, we failed before we even start. Chances are you're one of those people. That's because everybody is one of those people. We all, no matter how goal oriented we proclaim ourselves to be, we have a knack for expecting things of ourselves that are unrealistic. So let me give you three reasons why people give up on their goals way too early. Number one, they want the outcome more than the skill. How many people do you know who speak of something super prestigious and they're like, yes, you know, I want that thing. Honestly, it's probably a lot. Why? Because as humans, we fall in love with the idea of big things. We love the thought of being famous. We love the thought of, of being able to do something amazing and what happens the first time a roadblock comes failure is assumed and the whole path is given up because the knowledge of the skill was never the true goal the reward was number two they care too much about what people think and when we do this fear and judgment it comes up this is called sabotage and honestly speaking it's what people do to avoid the fear of rejection you see by sabotaging yourself you can see the failure coming ahead and if you can prepare for it then you can make a whole movie in your mind it wasn't your fault oh it ain't my fault oh my bad I I, I keep on going back to the songs today. All of that is much safer than putting it all on the line and being out there for everybody to see. People give up because they fear what other people will think if they fail. And number three, they mistake failure for a lesson. The best goal setters know that failure is nothing more than a lesson in disguise. Woo, can I say that one again? The best goal setters know that failure is nothing more than a lesson in disguise. Those that give up on their goals, however, they treat failure as a badge. I failed. And when we repeat that over and over again, we miss the opportunity that was right in front of us. See, understand this, it's only failure if you see it that way. See, we have to get in our mind that failure is nothing more than a hard earned lesson. So listen, that's all I have for you today. I wanna encourage you, don't stop, get it, get it. Keep on pushing. If you don't quit, you can't lose. If you like this content, make sure you go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe to the page. As I told you, we're on a journey to bring you 365 days of amazing content, and we don't want you to miss one. Now get to it. Get moving. Don't stop. Get it, get it. Wait.